Ginaguita, ay, no. Ay, tengo jamón serrano. Y ayer te gustó. Oye, oye, bien. Y ahora vamos a salir a hacer un pipito. Mucha. Anda, qué bueno, vamos a mear. Porque ya te has hecho vivir aquí, pero no pasa nada, ¿verdad? No pasa nada, nos vamos. Hi. Imagine that your day you're at home, going on to your normal life, and then you notice something on one of your legs, a little mole, a little something, small at first, but day after day you keep on noticing it, it itches, it hurts a little bit and it keeps on growing, and it grows and it grows, and it doesn't seem to stop, it keeps on growing. And then your family and friends, they look at you and they're like, what is this, take it out, and you can't. So eventually they become so disgusted with you that they cast you out, kick you out of your own family. They throw you out and they say, look, don't ever come back until you get rid of that thing. But you cannot get rid of that thing because it's now part of you and it keeps on growing and it keeps on growing. This is exactly what happened to Alma. I know it is uh, probably a bit far-fetched to try to guess if she lived in a home or she had any friends or family. But chances are that Alma lived in a home at some point. She wasn't born in the wild. She was a puppy, she had a mother, she had siblings. And then we don't know what happened. They got separated somehow. The fact is that three years later, or four years later, Alma appeared at a landfill, surrounded by garbage and rocks and stones and, and carrying that thing that she had been carrying for so long, probably years. And then something has happened. People around you notice you. They look at that thing and they're also disgusted. And instead of trying to help you, they start throwing stones at you. They start heckling you. Hey, hey, go away, go away. And then some of them are carrying this funny thing, guns, and they shoot at you. Some of them miss, but some of them, they hit. They hit everywhere in your body. So you end up carrying pellets all over the place. You're relaxed, you're calm, you're looking at the sky. What a beautiful day and suddenly, bam, somebody shoots at you. This is what happened to Alma. And this is the reason why Alma is terrified. I would like to think that it's not gonna be forever. There are signs that she's little by little starting to get closer to us, to accept us. We've already seen that tail wagging, but it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time. This morning, I went to see Alma, and this is what happened. Hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Sí. ¿Buena incorporación? Muy buena incorporación. Sí. Sí. Hola. 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 First night at the great house. Yesterday's arrival was well, was as, as you as you can expect. I mean, it was a bit scared and everything. But she said, "Well, this morning she woke up. She was walking the tail." Madre mía, pobrecilla. Pero si eso lo has cogido, hombre, no me fastidies. Qué suerte que no sea cáncer. Madre mía. ¿Quieres que la sacamos un poquito? Sí, sí, sí. The world famous Spanish ham. <risa> Jamón serrano. Claro. Bueno. A ver. ¿Esto? ¿Esto qué? ¿Qué me dices de esto? ¿Te vas a decir que no, hombre? Por favor. Eso dice que no, ¿eh? Claro, hombre, claro. Mírala, con qué suavidad. Si es que... ¿Qué? ¿Ves? Mira. Y de ahí no te va a hacer nada. Uy, qué bueno está esto. La fórmula 1, I'm gonna give her this. So, you give her the other thing, 
pues tú le das lo otro, ¿vale? Y el jamón me lo dejáis a mí, para que realmente me quiera. Vale. So she's gonna love me. <risa> Vamos, amor. Mira. Tú me haces caso. Dice, esto va conmigo. Dice, el jamón va conmigo. He notado con ella, o sea, siempre que se asusta, busca algo que le cubra la espalda, o para que ver lo que viene y que no le vengan por detrás. Bueno, entonces, ¿cuánto te queda? Nada, ¿no? Para cuando me pongas para Finales de noviembre. Finales de noviembre. Sí. We are going to begin the new year Hola. with a baby. A baby girl. Así es going to be called Victoria. Victoria, ¿no? No, Martina. 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 <risa> Perdón. She looks pretty. She looks beautiful. This no, is a pregnancy. No looks good on her. But don't worry, because as soon as the baby comes, sleeps is over, and then she's going to look like, like normal. Siempre me voy a ver más guapa que tú, aunque para. Déjate If she doesn't improve quickly, I'm going to bring her to my home. Then she's going to love me, you'll see. You'll see. So it is quick, quick interview. Yeah, no problem. So how long have you been here? Like two, three weeks now? Uh, yeah, more or less. Okay. <laughs> about three weeks, yeah. Okay, enjoying it? I love it. Do you like the thing? I yeah. absolutely love them, yeah. Tell us a bit about yourself. What were you doing before? Well, um, before I was working as a vet nurse at a clinic for a couple of years. Okay. And I absolutely loved that. I loved working with the animals, with the health aspect and all that. And I just thought that coming here would be like a step further in helping animals. So I thought, oh, I really want to do this. Because okay. I think it's an amazing cause. <laughs> okay. Are you happy with them? Yes. Do you get along with all of them? Yes, with everyone. Okay. Vamos. Oh, qué bonita esta niña. ¿Qué? Ven, toma. Ven, monita. Parece que le gusta el campo. Ay, qué rabito, ¿ves? Alma is doing great. She's at the great house. She's calm. She's relaxed. Nobody's gonna shoot at her. Nobody's gonna chase her. Nobody's gonna throw any stones at her. Nobody's gonna hit her ever again. I promise you that. But she has a long process ahead of her. Next week, she's gonna be receiving the visit of two uh, behavioral experts. And we're gonna see what we can do. I mean, so far, you know, we've done what, what we always do. Uh, get closer to her, feeding her, pet her, talk to her nicely. But uh, we're going to have the professionals uh, having a look at this and, and seeing what else we can do. I would like to say that we performed a miracle. It wasn't us. We just followed the process and the, the protocol. It turned out that it wasn't a tumor. It wasn't cancer. It was something else entirely. And she's been really, really lucky. Now we have to focus on getting rid of those fears. And I tell you, it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna take some time. There's a lot of suffering there, accumulated in the back of our mind. But we're gonna try, I promise you, we're gonna try. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for your support, for the love that you've given Alma during all this time. And thanks for supporting this, uh, this animal rescue. We do our best, I promise you, we do our best. If any of you would like to help, uh, there's a link at the bottom. It's my Patreon support group. 
this month I'm really gonna push it. I need to have uh, to have uh, as much help as I can. Otherwise, uh, it's really difficult. Anyway, please, if you can, just join me on my Patreon support group. I really need you there. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.